So we're live here at the first episode of the King Penny Podcast, and we have a very special guest today. So the goal of the King Penny Podcast is to reach out to people from different walks of life who motivate, who uplift, and who are driving towards a goal. Want to spotlight that, want to put that in perspective, where they're coming from, how they got there, and what wakes them up in uh, the morning. So here we go with our first guest, Miss Mary Ann. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> so the first question we're gonna ask, you know what I mean? First of all, welcome. Thank you. You know what I mean to the space me. and stuff yeah. like that. So we want to know, Mary Ann, where are you from? I am a Longmont native, born and raised here in Colorado, Longmonts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> big family. I have a very big family. Okay. Yeah. How many brothers and sisters, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, yeah, no, not at all. I have two brothers or three brothers, and I have. Uh, two other sisters. One of the brothers almost didn't make the cut. I'm assuming he knows who he is. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But no, so that's good to know. So what do you do? Like, what do you do for a living? Um, right now, I am a waitress. I am a full-time mom. I, I'm i an athlete, so kicking butt in the gym. Okay. Yeah. So what does your day-to-day -day consist of, like, from the morning? Oh, man. Well, I used to be um, dropping off my daughter to school. I would go to the gym right away, get my training session in, and then depending on what day, I would go to work and then take care of work, come home, get my rest and recover for the next day. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, that makes it pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So how often do you work out now? I work out six days a week. Six days? <laughs> six days What's, a week. What day is the rest day or does it alternate? Um. It depends on how I'm feeling, like my body uh, pretty much lets me know, like I just like kind of, I can't say shuts down, but it's just like we're taking a rest day, oh, okay. so it's no. either like a Wednesday or a Sunday pretty much. So do you have a favorite uh, body part to train? Oh, I've always loved upper body, like it's, I know I've started out working with, or working out with men. And so I kind of, they showed me the opposite for most women. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I do both, or upper and lower. Yeah, oh, okay, so. and what's the least favorite? Legs. Legs, Legs are hard. Cardio? Uh, cardio, I've actually enjoyed it now. There you yeah, go. yeah, you showed me a great routine. You got, you know, you got me going, so I'm pretty hyped about it. No, that's super cool. Yeah. That's yeah. super cool. So now let's get a little bit more in depth okay. because I want to know. So between work, yeah. Single mom, mm -hmm. gym, six days a week. Yep. How do you balance and juggle all this? Um, honestly, my balance is the gym. Like, um, it just gets me up. It gets me motivated. That's pretty much how I start my day is like the gym. After the gym, I'm like, all right, let's go. I'm ready for the rest of the day. Okay. So what got you into the gym? Like, um, you know what I mean, in the very, in very, how long have you been working out for now? I started 2019, but then like I kind of, I wasn't as, you know, like into it as I am now, um, but I can say depression, it got me into the gym. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, everybody has a story about how they got it introduced or how they, uh, what kind of like depression, like a... Uh, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I don't yeah, want to get no, too much. No, I don't want to get. Okay. Look, I'm, I'm look we just book. started. Look, I'm, look, I'm already shifting my seat, getting in my Montel bag. <laughs> no, that's you know okay. what I mean? I'm getting in my Montel yeah, bag right yeah. now. But no, nah, but like what, like what, uh, what sparked the? You know what I mean? What was the catalyst for it? So, um, I was in a relationship for ten years with my daughter's dad, and we had broken up at the time because it was kind of like a push for me. It's like, okay, now it's time to grow up and focus on her. And you know, I like, I wanted to be a better role model, but then I kind of fell into, just fell into bad friends at the time. So like I was taking care of my duties during the week and then the weekend I was like, let's go drink. Let's, you know, it's kind of, yeah. And the drinking, it just kind of made me just not feel so great about myself and I was waking up in the mornings hating myself and just kind of like just asking it's like life has to be better this you know because it, it just wasn't working out for me and so then I just like 
I, every weekend, you know, it was the same old routine. And then um, depression just took a big hold. And I saw a friend of mine, Angel, which is my best friend. Yeah, like, yeah, cool he, yeah, yeah, he just, I just reached out to him one day and I was like, hey, you know, it's like, kind of told him what was going on, telling him about my depression because they're, uh, they're in my depression. Like, I kind of, I wanted to take my life. And, and I was drinking and I kind of, I reached out to a family member of mine. I was like, hey, talk me out of this. I need somebody to talk to. And yeah, he just, my uncle, he um, pushed me, you know, gave me really good advice. And after that, like my, everything just changed. And then Angel started getting me into the gym showing me the basic, you know, use of the equipment. After that, I was like, oh, I want to lift as much as you, even though I can because that dude's just like one big old solid walking <laughs> muscle. muscle. Yeah, yeah. 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 so, like, I just, after that, I just, I don't know, I just started feeling better about myself, and I started seeing muscle because I wasn't really doing much cardio at the beginning. I was just lifting heavy. <laughs> Yeah. So I like I look super like just super swollen, you know from the fat in the muscle and then after that I was just I started seeing the muscle develop and how I felt like afterwards I was just like dang like this just feels good like yeah. I just had moments of where like I just kind of reflected like it just made me feel powerful like it just so you kind of took back that power that... Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, exactly. Like, yeah, and that's a great no, way to word it. No, yeah. it's a great feeling, though. You know, yeah, and I also, like yeah. I said, I found mine, you know, yeah. like in the in the gym, like working yeah. out, I found my, you know, I mean, my peace of mind, my yeah. way to clear all this clutter out and stuff yeah. like that. So I definitely know the feeling. I, I, I don't, you know, know the feeling of depression. Yeah. And also, too, like two things I can't, you know what I mean, understand, a woman, a, a woman going into the gym. Yeah. So what is your advice first? I want to ask a two-part question. Yeah. So the advice first for people with depression or, you know yeah. what I mean, are struggling with anxiety or anything like that yeah. to get in the gym and also, too, for women in general. So to get into the gym, I know it's really scary. Like, um, mm -hmm. it's just putting yourself out there being uncomfortable because I'm still I'm sore every day I'm always uncomfortable because I push myself it's just knowing that you're taking that power back and it just it's just such a great feeling to know how far you can push yourself and you know it's just it's it, I can't even explain it it's just so amazing and you kind of like you get hooked to just being like I just lifted that like I just I did that and after a while seeing the results is just like the cherry on top of the cake there and then it just helps you get out of bed and so I just keep going just keep showing up for yourself just prove it to yourself and no one else just know that no one is judging you in the gym honestly because when I see someone in the gym that I've like an older man today, like I've seen, he just, he's like, he's probably about, I want to say like 50s, like an older man. And today I saw him and he like went up um, on his squats and I was like, dang, I was like, great job. You know, I've, I've seen your progress. And I just, I love seeing that. Like it just, people are rooting for you. We're definitely not there to see you fail. We want to push you. We want to see you lift that weight. And as for a woman, it's scary. It's very scary, but just know what the men can do, so can you. Sometimes even better. Hey, <laughs> a lot better. You know, yeah. I used to I used to work out like one of my first workout partners was female. And like her focus yeah. was different than mine, kinda. You know what I mean? I mean I, I go. But she would be like, Hey, as you said, what are you doing on your phone? Like put the phone yeah. like you know what I mean? Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. But you know what I mean? Like I'm doing about eight million things, hey, chopping it up with the guy next to me in between sets and you know what I mean? She's like, Hey, we need to focus, we need to do this and you know, like it really like set the tone of how I am in the gym now. Yeah. Like in the gym now, I'm just bouncing around supersetting everything and just yep. constant movement. Yep. So she get I got I got that from a woman. 
Yeah, honestly, I'm like that with Angel. Like, um, whenever we were training together, I was like, hey, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. And, like, when I was like, when he's, I'm sorry, Angel, I love you. But when you talk a little more than you should, I put my headphones on. I'm like, all right, I'm fading out for a second. Hey, when you hear that, when you hear that, I'm sorry, I love you. Hey, the shade is coming. <laughs> it's real. Hey, you know it's coming. Here's Just brace yourself for it, Angel. social butterfly. <laughs> no, I feel you. So, right now, what is your goal right as far as fitness is concerned what is what is the actual goal what are you working towards so right now I am working towards doing my first show um it's a natural show for wellness exciting yes yes Got I, butterflies yet? <laughs> I I'm nervous as heck yeah, yeah. I'll say that yeah <laughs> yeah it's scary but it's something I really want to do, and like I just I want it so bad. Um, my coach Erin, she just kind of one day I was like, she's been pushing me actually since um, we worked at Golds together, and she's always like, you should do a show. I was like, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And then um, this year, uh, some crazy events happened, life happened, you know. And then I was like, you know what? Let's make this more uncomfortable. I'm gonna, I want to do a show. And she was like, all right, let's go. <laughs> she just was like ready. that. Yeah, she was Look, ready. Look, you said I wasn't ready. Look, was just like that, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, when it, so when, how far out are you? I'm, it's uh, September 15th or 16th. Oh, okay. I so kind of, <laughs> I know no, it's in I mean, September. She's keeping count for me. No, oh. that's good. Yeah. When you can take your, no, when you don't have to worry about it, yeah. you just go. You know, yeah. like I said, I, I, and I used to work out with some guys that just used to put the weight out. Yeah. Where I didn't even have to think about it was heavy, but I didn't even have to think about changing weight and doing weight. And, you know, when you can put your mind, the, the more you can put your mind at peace and just do the work. Yep, exactly. And just go through it. It makes yeah. everything like that much. Yeah. But when you have to think, life throws yeah. all kinds of oh, stuff at you. Gosh, complicated. I'm sure, does, but I'm yeah. sure with being like a single mom, working, everything like that, there's about 8 million things to juggle. <laughs> yes. You know? And so just taking one thing out of the equation, like, oh, okay, we were what? 12 weeks out, oh, okay, you go, yeah. ahead keep, you go ahead and keep that on your calendar and just send me the workout, the meal, yeah. and the yeah. meal prep, yeah. and I'll do the work. Do and the that's, that's, that's the beauty of having a coach, too. Yeah. Um, and, you know, like a lot of them do, like the gym you go to now has some great trainers, too, mm -hmm. uh, train station, yeah. stuff like that, great equipment, too, over there. Yeah, right? yeah, it's a great gym. I yeah. love that gym. I really it's like it. I like gym. the setup, the color, uh, you know, the lighting and everything yeah. like that, man. Yeah. They're doing a lot of good things, doing yeah. a lot of good things over there. So that's the overall goal right now is to compete. Yes. Do you feel support? I all actually, the way like all the way around. Yeah. Like from all like besides the coaches, people you work out with, mm -hmm. friends and family, do you feel like they understand? I would say I have the best support in the gym. Like gym. my um I have a a friend she and I actually connected um, because she started doing a show. I met her and her husband at Gold's, uh, George and Yami. Yeah, they're, oh, Yami. they're, yeah, they're, she's been, she's been awesome. She's been great. Family, uh, I, they don't see what I do. They don't, un, like, I feel like they don't really understand. They're, they're just like, eh, Nini's just working out. And, you know, it's just kind of like, whatever but it's I would say my my friends they're just you know life is happening for them so it's just like my gym community they're just they've been there for how me. does it, how does that align like you know because you uh, or you have friends right yeah and, and family and stuff like that and they probably are used to maybe knowing you one way yeah yeah and yeah. then like you you've moved in this direction are you able to hold those maintain those relationships or are they kind of growing distance there um, or i would say they just they don't really understand like um because i can say i'm pretty much i mean um like my brothers they play basketball but i feel like bodybuilding is like a whole different you know, lifestyle compared to like basketball or um Well yeah, there's well there's a discipline that comes with it. Like you yeah, know what I mean? Like the yeah. and I try to tell people all the time you have to go to bed at night. Yep. You have to eat right. Yep. You know what I mean? And you have yeah. to deal with being sore. A lot of people don't like being sore. <laughs> no, it's an everyday. Thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like especially when it gets every day. Even season oh, lifters. Man. 
they get frustrated by yeah. the everyday lingering, nagging little aches and pains yeah. and stuff like that. Like, yeah, your legs are sore. Okay, but you still have to do a shoulder workout. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, and but you're standing on your legs yeah. or you, like, have to keep getting up and down from uh, doing uh, shoulder presses from the bench and yeah. stuff like that. Like a lot of, I know a lot of season lifters, like they'll even take shoulder day off because the legs hurt because they don't want to keep on having to get up and down. And like I said, what you're, what you're doing right now is very like, it's a very uh, discipline oriented task. Yeah. And I yeah. think a lot of people, they just see the results or they want the results, but they don't want to go through the process of doing it. Yeah. Like how they say though, it's like a lot of uh, blood, sweat and tears. Not so much blood, but tears. I can't tell you how many times I've cried in the gym. And it's just like, even when I'm lifting, I'm just like, I'm like, why am I crying? I, I swear. I told George, I was like, George, if you look at the camera and you see me crying, yeah. I just, hey, just delete crying. the footage. Just, just well, that footage. is like, hey, you know what? That was a good workout, but yeah, delete the footage. Uh, definitely. Uh, definitely. Yeah. So, what, so what wakes you up in the morning? Like, what is... What is, so this alarm goes off yeah. at whatever time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mine goes off at like 4.30. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still up at like 4.20 or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wake up before it most like, of the yeah, time. Yeah. But at, what wakes you up? What what gets you going? Gets me going. It's just, honestly, like, I look forward to going to the gym. So as soon as I get up, and I honestly, I don't have to set an alarm anymore. I just like... I think excitement, just knowing it's like, yay, I got to get in here. I, you know, it's, I don't know, just, that's like my day after I'm done with the gym. I'm like, oh man, I feel like I didn't do enough or can I go back for cardio? But it's like, no, I need the rest. I need to discipline Dang. myself to rest better. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to tell you, like a lot of people, like they can't, like I'm one of the ones I can't really sit still. Yeah. I can't be idle. Yeah, so I find other yeah. stuff, like I said, I, I try to find other stuff outside of the gym yeah. <laughs> that really kind of keep me, you know I mean, moving and engaged Yeah, like yeah. the gym does. But it's hard to find stuff to do that. Yeah. But like I said, that's why I try to do this. I try a little bit of that. Yeah. I just try to do everything. But like I said, that just that <sighs> discipline, that's going to, it's going to pay off in September. Yeah. But like I said, but you have to be patient through the whole <laughs> process. And, yeah. You know, like tough. when, and, and then watch, you'll see once you hit the stage, yeah. oh, it's a whole different animal when people start yelling and screaming oh. and, and, you know what I mean, hooting and hollering. And, you oh, know, it's just a whole different yeah. feeling. Like, you know, like I did the first time, like when I hit the stage, like, yeah. people were quiet. Yeah. Like I was the first one to walk out and they were just quiet. That makes me nervous. <laughs> and no, then then I then I hear then I then look then I hear one female just out of nowhere go damn, <laughs> like, like you know what I mean? Because I'm like all the all the air is blown out, like you know what I mean? Like this is flex time for real, like and I'm first, yeah, I'm the first one to say it. And then I saw you hear just one female, damn, and I was like, oh okay, this is what we work for for real. Like all right, this, this, right. this, this, I'm this, ready. I'm smiles ready. come out and everything. Yeah. Then like oh okay, they know. You know, because I was like, I was doing two a days like you. Yeah. I didn't do it. I didn't look. I didn't go as long as you, but you know what I mean. Like I did, like uh, I did, like two and a half, three months. Yeah. But you know what I mean, just yeah. a two a days and working oh, and stuff dude, like that. Yeah. So I know and that, that's what I'm saying. Like just being a single mom man, and working. Yeah. Oh man, it has to be, it has to be a lot. Yeah, right. it's, it's it's a lot. Um, yeah, and uh, even like sometimes bringing my daughter with me, like she's here right now. Yeah. So if you see me look over, I'm like, <laughs> checking on her, make sure she's okay. <laughs> but she, I'm sure she gets tired of seeing me in the gym because I do take her with me, like when I don't have a sitter. Um, I'm sure she don't enjoy it, but it's like every time it just kind of it's nice to look over and be like, oh yeah, there's there's my daughter. It's like I like having her see me being proactive like that is because the chances are she's gonna be a future lifter too. Hey, look or here. Not look, you spend enough time around the, you spend enough time around the gym, you get buffed. <laughs> 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 I don't even need look, protein shakes. It's almost like the barbershop. You hang around enough, you're gonna get a haircut, right? <laughs> <That is laughs> so, <not true. laughs> so you know what I mean. But now, oh, so man. this is like, so I want to wrap this thing on up. But yep. I do want to understand though how how you've how how the how the gym. Yeah. has kind of or the fitness experience has shaped your life or has incorporated yeah. into your you know what I mean your decision making your yeah. 
your uh, just day to day things. Like, yeah. you know, like the discipline of oh, your friends are going out, yeah. everybody's going out, yeah. you know, you have a lift day in the morning, or you know, you have a training yeah. session. Yeah. You know, like how, because I, I, I don't think. You know what I mean? Like when you go to the gym, like people like you, like you go like twice a day, dedicated. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just saying like people yeah. don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I mean? There's not a lot of family friend time outside of you know what I mean? Hey, I have this slot of time allocated for this, this, and this, yeah. and this, this, and this. And like I said, it goes back to the balance thing. But how has you know what I mean? The gym and your work ethic in the gym affected like maybe your work ethic at work or maybe your work ethic at home or yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, just, or who you allow around you like as far as their energy. Yeah. I just, man, that's a, yeah, that's. It's a lot of yeah, questions. No, in, look, it's okay. a lot of questions no, in one okay. question. But you know, okay. but you, well, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Like say for instance, you go to the gym, right? Somebody's sore and they don't have the energy to work out and they're kind of, and you're working out with them and they're kind of dragging you. Yeah. You know how you kind of veer away from that. Yeah, I just, so how it's affected me is just showing up for myself, is knowing that this is me against me, emotionally, mentally, physically, like, and with like Longmont, that's all there is to do, is to drink. But, you know, it's like, they don't have any fun activities for anyone around here, and it's kind of a shame I wish there was more to do. That's what. That's why it's so great with what you're doing. Is because it's like, man, you get to work on yourself and you get to do it, you know, for free, and you get a great support. But how the fitness has really helped me is just being just sober, clear-headed, just being mindful, showing up for myself, being accountable, and impeccable to my word. Like if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. It just it, it just Pretty much, it's reflected me in every aspect of the woman I am, what I do on a daily basis. It's made me aware of the poison I put into my body, like saying, if I were to drink, it's like, damn, like, this is going to affect my training tomorrow, and I'm going to feel like absolute garbage, you know? And, like, keeping good company around, like, um... I'd say uh, my boyfriend's probably bored of me because I just, I, like, I need the rest. I lay around. I don't, right now I'm not really going, doing much of anything. Like, we go roller skating, my daughter and I, um, now that it's summer. Um, I, I like to go hiking, but it's like I'm trying to just stay away from, like, the fast life. Is because I've seen what it does to people. It keeps people in that cycle, and it's, a nasty cycle and I just don't want to be that person I just want a better life and I just want you know if I just want people to feel comfortable if they're having a bad day or something you come talk to me because I know exactly where you're coming from I've had a crazy childhood pretty horrible childhood and I saw the craziest uh, like um, a reel they said they said that you, who you are now, is who you would have felt safe with as a child. And I fully believe that. Oh, wow. It's because of, that touched me, is because I'm like, yeah, I would have loved to see a strong mother. I would have loved to have that emotional connection and that safe zone within my mother, within my father, within my family. Because my family, they do the tough love and everybody is very, my family has been hard, very hard on me, and I've never had that support, and I, and I want, I've always wanted that support, so it's like, what's better now to give it to, you know, the kids, so. Lucky, scary. lucky you are. <laughs> I do want to tell you, like I said, because this is a whole another conversation that you're heading into, and yeah. I don't, like I said, I don't yeah. know if you're prepared to do this, <laughs> do that yeah. on camera. Yeah. But I do, one thing I do want to tell you is you do have support, you know, within the community. There are people watching, people rooting for you, people cheering, you know what I mean? Like I said, that cardio session we got in, like, was next level, you know what I mean? Them burpees, and burpees all day, like, you know what I mean? And so, but no, but people are, you know what I mean? They they want to see you win. Yeah. And because you're, you know what I mean? Like, your attitude is top-notch great. 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Even on those days when you feel so, you still show up and bring it. Yeah. You know, I could tell that from the energy, like uh, you, Chris, Jacob, and everybody who's working yeah. out. And you know what I mean? I, the, the, the crew. <laughs> Look, she gave a shout out to the crew. That's y'all little sign. But no, but I could tell, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're a motivator. You yeah. are a, a positive force within them, too, within their lives. Because I've seen them, hey, come on, let's go, let's go. Like, everybody pushing themselves and stuff like that. And you going first kind of set the tone for the workout. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't even notice that. But, like, when I was running you guys through all them uh, workouts, you was like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But you going first set the tone for everybody to push themselves. So yeah. that says a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Especially to somebody who's like watching and somebody who's seeing how you move and things like that. And, mm-hmm. you know, and you push yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's always, it's, it's always going to lead to success. Mm-hmm. So I don't ever want you to like feel like I said, I, I understand you've got, you, everybody wants a certain support from their family and their friends, but all the time it's not there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and I think everybody like hands down has some sort of story where, you know what I mean? Like where they don't feel as though that they have what they need to get by mm-hmm. or or to make them the strongest yeah and so i i never want anyone to feel like yeah. that way and stuff like that because we all lean on each other sometimes yeah. like you know oh, what yeah. i mean like we all are here for each other especially like i said in the gym it's just a whole different vibe with the with yeah. the people you work out with and the people <laughs> like you said holding them accountable them holding you accountable that everybody's yeah. everybody's kind of in sync yeah. you know what i mean like oh okay you know, and it's just a beautiful, like, just a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> so, I, but I want to tell you, thank you for taking the time. I know you just came yeah, from the no, gym. Are you, you taller than me? Hold on. I hey, look, you've been so. taller than me the whole time. Posture. Like your posture, oh, she got them abs right coming in here, sitting up straight. <laughs> look, I was like just looking over at the monitor. I was like, hold on, you've been taller than me this whole time. <laughs> You're shacking on me. But no, nah, exactly. she's like, yeah, nah, I mean, look, look, Aaron will be proud. Look at the posture. Well, like, yeah, I mean, she's always like, here, do this. Stand up tall. I'm like, all right. So, uh, yeah, this is for her. <laughs> look, I'm about to go holler at y'all me, get my posture right. Look, I've been leaning ever since I turned the first time with this one. Look, I lost it. But, no, nah, like I said, I appreciate you taking yeah, the time yeah, to do this because I know your day is yeah. very busy and you have a lot to do. And I appreciate you guys joining in with the first King Penny podcast. You know what I mean? We look to have different people here too outside of fitness like i said business owners just positive people we want to know what motivates you we want to know what pushes you we and also too if you want to talk about the struggles talk about the struggles of it and how you how you're getting through it you know because i think that if you hear somebody else's story of how they're persevering like a single mother with the job going to the gym twice a day like there's really and i'm not going to say no excuse but it's it motivates it's a it's a story that it can be done and you might not make it twice a day, but you can't tell me, like, if you see somebody going to, you know what I mean? You can go once. Yeah, you can give yeah. 30 minutes of good work and, yeah. you know what I mean? Then get home and do it and do what you have to do or, you know, uh, but it's just about pushing yourself, keeping people active. Yeah. And like I said, City of Longmont. We, yeah. And we will continue to reach out and find things, I guess. And if anybody is tapping in, um, if you want to hit in the comment section things for people to do in Longmont that are healthy, that are fun, that are, you know, that are pro, pro-social, pro proactive things, you know, outside of drinking or, you know, or anything that um, could be a, of negative uh, harm. I'm not saying that drinking is, but, you know, something outside of there yeah. where, where alcohol isn't the focus or anything like that. Without having to leave the city, because you know, like Longmont does have a lot of space. I'm sure there's a lot of things here, because it's, I mean, these business owners are pretty creative. Yeah. So I mean, I'm sure that there's someone with like, you know what I mean, something healthy to do that the friends can go where alcohol isn't, you know, at, at, yeah. at the the centerpiece of it all. Yeah, bring the roller arena back. The roller arena. <laughs> I like rollers. <laughs> Look so, at her, she's so like, yeah. I have to drive so far. Try to plug that in. Bring the roller <laughs> arena back, if anybody, if you're listening, if you're listening. <laughs> Nah, but like I said, man, thank you guys for tuning in to the first ever King Penny podcast. Uh, Like I said, we're going to try to do this once a week, and we're going to try to put out great content with great stories. And once again, Marianne, thank you very much. Thank you for having me, and thank you for doing what you're doing. Like, especially from, like, where I'm from here in Longmont, let's, uh, man, let's reach these kids. Let's get these kids off the street like trying to gangbang let's get these kids and show them a whole different lifestyles because you know what there's so much more to what these 
you know, this younger generation is doing right now. The drinking ain't it. I'll tell you that much. The drinking ain't it. The gang banging, it's just, it's not going to do anything for you. So let's, let's make some athletes or something, you know, bigger and better for you. I heard it here. Hey, you heard it here from Mary Ann. Yeah. Get, get swole or get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm just kidding. No, that's her motto, though. But yeah, it, last question. Uh, one more question. Yeah, 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 Look, no, it's coming in my mind. Yeah. What's the gym song that gets you going? Oh, man. Like, what's, what's the one that gets you, like... <laughs> Pumped up? Yeah. So, I I got put on... Well, I like Typo Negative. It's a I Don't Want to Be Me. It's a really good song. It's older, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I really like that song. Or, um... Urban Heat, they're they're just right. They're like coming up right now, oh, and it's okay. called Living Well. That is my song. Like I just like to listen to it, like to fade away, and it just makes you feel good. It's like it actually speaks about losing a part of you that you basically get back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. No, it's all good stuff, man. I uh, like I said. You actually gave me two songs, but you know what I mean? I, no, I definitely, no, I definitely, no, no, I definitely, yeah. she's trying to give a whole playlist on Spotify, I have, <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, but definitely, uh, like I said, thank you again, you know what I mean? Because if you keep on talking, Mary, I'm going to always have more questions for you because you keep on making great points and stuff like that, and reaching out to the youth is an amazing thing, yeah. and, you know, keeping them on the up and up. Um Harmless plug here. Hey, show up at the weight pile in the Rockies, 1610 Main Street. You know what I mean? If you have time, free outdoor gym. Also, check out the train station, which uh, awesome. uh, Marianne goes to. Yes. And I'm an anytime fitness guy. Hey, just want to throw him out there on Francis. <laughs> you know what I mean? My guys, always. You know, but uh, all along my gyms, man, you guys keep doing your thing, and you guys keep on motivating and pushing people to be their best. All right? King Penny, Marianne, we're out of here. It's been real. Bye. <laughs>